EasyFlow offer a variety of classes. We are actually holding a free training course at the moment, which shows you how to do, if you've been to the EasyFlow stand, you'll see a big poster with a set of stiletto nails, you know the ones that go into a very sharp point, uh, that are in black, with a glitter nail bed. We are doing a free conversion to show you the various techniques used for that nail. Um, all you need to do is purchase a small kit, which actually is 30% discount on the price of the products. Um, it's about £75 plus VAT. And it's got everything in that kit, all the colours in the kit that you need for those designs. And that is a, a day course, 10 till 4 run by uh, either myself or one of the other educators for EasyFlow, which you will probably meet if you go to the EasyFlow stand. We have all the dates there, and we even have the kits there for you to purchase, and the course is free once you've purchased the kit. That secures your place on the course. Okay? Okay, I've got a few bags left. Any more questions? So if you have not in comparison to if you haven't got the colour drops in there. The question, um, ladies and gentlemen, was how long does it actually take for the product to set if if you've got colour drops in there? It doesn't take it doesn't make any difference to the setting time at all. So the setting time is the exact same if you've put colour drops in. You'll find that um, highly pigmented colours and colours that have quite a lot of glitter in them tend to have a little bit more playtime in them because you, you tend to use them a bit wetter. And Easy Flow generally, uh, the liquid and powder ratio is two parts liquid to one part powder, which means that you're using the product quite wet. You've got a lot of playtime and it doesn't compromise the strength or flexibility of the product if you don't get your ratio spot on. So, yeah. It's a really good feature of EasyFlow products, yeah. What files would you recommend? Generally speaking, or specific to colour drops. Okay, the question was what files would you recommend? Sorry, let me go back to the front. The files uh, are exactly the same. We have three files in the range. We have a white tiger, which is a, a 100 grit, a grey wolf, which is 150 grit, and a grey fox, which is 180 grit. Now you'll see that Anthony generally just uses the wolf and the fox. Um, the white tiger is quite coarse, and if you're a bit heavy with your application, you use the tiger for your shaping. Otherwise, generally speaking, Anthony will use the wolf, his shaping because he's really fantastic at application <laughs> and so he'll use the wolf for his shaping and the fox to contour the surface of the nail then we use the sand shark which will remove all the uh, file demarcation marks in the nail and then the snow monkey which will bring it up to a high shine so it's the same regular files that we use for all of our liquid and powder enhancements uh, same with the gel. Gel, we generally don't use the Tiger Fox. It's quite a soft system to file. I'm just going to come down the back. I saw another hand. Are you able to mix the drops to make different colours? Yeah, you can mix any... I've got three different colours in my nails. I've got uh, pink, blue and purple. You know, and you just keep putting the drops in until you get the right colour that you're looking for. So, yes, you can mix all the, all the colours. Different brush. So different. Okay. Uh, the question was, would you use a different brush? And if you're using colours that are quite similar to each other, then you could possibly use the same brush. But generally speaking, we have a different brush. But you can clean your brush and go to another colour. But it's just a bit more time consuming. So if you're really organised, you'll have a separate brush for each colour. And that's what Anthony's got. And let me prove it. 
there's three. Oh, there's another one down there, and there's another one in his hand. So he's actually got five brushes here. Um, it does make it a lot easier. But once you finish with them, then you can just use dissolved brush cleaner, and then that will clean all the colour out, and you can go back to using them for clear applications or any normal application. Let me just pick up a couple more bags. Okay, last two questions. So I've only got two bags. <laughs> How long would a set of nails take? Uh, the colour drops won't actually change the amount of time it takes you, unless you're doing a very complicated design, and it depends on the person. Generally, I mean, Anthony would take two hours to do that set of nails. What he's doing there, he would take two hours to do. Yeah, of course you can. Okay. Last bag. How much are the colour drops? We don't have a price on them at the moment because we're, we're launching them in about a couple of months. This is just a preview for you. Amber has got a price. Amber Gibbons, our brand manager. Trust you to be here at the right time. The colour drops are going to be in, uh, how long have you said? Yeah, two months and they're going to be 14.95 plus that. 14.95 plus VAT and there are six colours, yellow, orange, Blue, purple, pink. Did I miss one? Is that five or is that six? Purple, blue, orange, red and yellow. And pink. That's six colours. Any more questions? I haven't got any more goodie bags, but you can carry on asking questions. It will not make any difference to how long the enhancement lasts. It, no, no, they will last just as long if they have colour drops in them. Yeah, it doesn't compromise the strength of the product. Okay, any more questions? You know, when, you, when you're sculpting severely beaten nails, and also when you finish doing that, can you encapsulate it with gel? I mean, like gel and clear white powder, or do you have to use UV? Um, that one that you want, and that one. That one's for you, but UV um, to finish it, to finish it. Right. Okay. The question was. Um, would you encapsulate the whole thing in clear and then put gel over the top? You said something about bit and nails as well. What was that question? Yeah. Can you sculpt severely bitten nails? Yes. In fact, it's easier to sculpt on bitten nails. I've just been asked, how would you sculpt bitten nails? You need to come on one of our classes. <laughs> because Anthony hasn't got a bitten nail to demo on, but I can, I can talk you through it. Come see me afterwards. Uh, the other question was, once you've applied your colours, what do you do? So Anthony's applied his base colour, really nice and thin, and then he's used clear to actually build his structure. Obviously, you're going to be paying a little bit more money for a glitter product or for a colour product, right? So why waste it building your structure? You lay your colour on really nice and thin, it's easier to do when you're putting it on thin to get a nice thin application and, and a, a pattern. And then you apply your clear over the top. And you can actually encapsulate with gel. Okay, so you can use the acrylic to create your patterns and you can then go over it and encapsulate the whole thing with gel. If you, if you prefer gel and you're, you know, you're more comfortable building your structure with gel, then that's what you do. Any more questions? Have we exhausted all the questions? Well, that's good, because that means we've answered everything really well. Let me talk you through what Anthony's doing right now. He's contouring the nail. That method of filing that he's using, which is going backwards and forwards from cuticle to the free edge, that's called feather and bevel. You know, if you're used to filing from one side to the other and going across, trying to do feather and bevel is quite difficult. But I tell you what, when you get used to it, it is a brilliant way of filing. It cuts your time down dramatically. 